What's up everyone, it's Kevin the Mac Expert here with a video for you comparing Apple's flagship displays. So on the left we have the 30 inch cinema display and on the right we have the 27 inch quad core iMac. So these really are the best displays that Apple makes. There's a little bit of a year difference between them but the largest one that they make and is still currently available is the 30 inch cinema display and on the right is the Apple 27 inch quad core iMac. The, on the right, the iMac is the quad core, and it's a uh, it's an all-in-one machine. But the Apple Cinema Display, 30 inches on the left, is not an all-in-one, and it's just a display. So we're going to take a closer look at these two machines in just a minute. Here we have the 30-inch Cinema Display by Apple. It's just the display and does not come with a computer. However, on the iMac, which we'll go look at in a minute, it's an all-in-one machine, and it comes with an iMac computer quad core processor. So we'll go ahead and look at the 27-inch iMac next. Here we have the 27-inch quad-core iMac. It is a dazzling, vibrant display, and the colors are very sharp. I think that the color is spectacular. This display is the best one that I've used. And uh, in just a minute, we'll go over the resolution. So the iMac has a resolution of 2560 by 1440, and the Cinema HD display has a resolution of 2560 by 1600. So the cinema display has a little bit bigger resolution in terms of uh, in terms of height, in terms of like height-wise, it has a little bit higher resolution, but they're very close, and I don't think that really impacts the difference because what I can, from what I can tell from my eyes, the iMac has a higher pixel density than the uh, than the 30-inch cinema display because similarly they would have to do that to get the same amount of pixels lengthwise onto a 27-inch diagonal screen. So uh, it, it looks dazzling. So another major difference between the two displays is that the Apple HD Cinema display is matte, and the iMac, on the other hand, is glossy. So the matte looks nice, and so does the glossy. But for its personal preference, really, deciding between matte and glossy, I believe that glossy looks a little bit better, but for color professionals or for people working that need to determine exactly the right color and have a little bit more accurate representation, they could use the matte display. Here we have a side profile view of the Cinema HD display. And on the back we have a couple ports, uh, a Firewire and in fact two Firewire 400s and two USB ports. So we'll go ahead and look at the thickness of the iMac right over here. And you can tell that it's a little bit thinner. I know it's, sorry it's kind of hard to see in the video, but uh, it's a little bit thinner, and the iMac here has is an all-in-one. So what you're seeing is that the iMac is thinner, and it's an all-in-one computer. Here we can see a comparison of the two displays side by side. And so here's the verdict. The Apple Cinema HD display is 30 inches, and it has a resolution of 2560 by 1600. And it's matte. On the right, is the iMac, it's a 27 inch diagonal screen. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1400. So it's a little bit smaller resolution, but it's glossy too. The thing is, the Apple Cinema HD display is just a display and the iMac is an all-in-one. So what you're getting with the iMac for the same price, uh, depending upon the models, uh, the baseline 27 inch model is the same price as the Apple Cinema HD display. Uh, this is the quad core, however, so if you're getting the quad core, the iMac, it's a little bit more expensive than the Cinema HD display. But the verdict is, if you already have a computer and you want to get a beautiful display, beautiful display, you could get either the iMac or the Cinema HD display because the iMac can be used as an additional, can be used as an external display. However, if you're looking to get upgrade to a new computer, I would highly, highly recommend getting the new iMac and the iMac comes in Core 2 Duo configurations all the way up to Quad Core i7 configurations. So what we're seeing here is that the Cinema HD display is slowly being overtaken, so I believe that Apple is going to quickly have to announce a new Cinema display, a new Cinema HD LED display, larger than the 24-inch, because the 24-inch can't really compete. So I'm thinking that they will announce a new 27-inch or a new 30-inch uh, Cinema HD display. So these are both beautiful displays, but if you're looking to get a new computer, you should definitely go with the iMac. And if you're upgrading, you have an older computer, and you want to upgrade your display, the 30-inch uh, cinema display, HD by Apple, 
is still a great, great display, but it's very expensive. So you're going to have to, it's a lot of money, but these are two great displays. And we're just comparing them side by side. So the best one that I choose is the iMac. The iMac 27 inch quad core display. It's an all in one. It has a beautiful, glossy, vibrant display. It has a high pixel density and it's LED, brand new computer. So it's great. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.